This video is presented to you by Physics for Students. To know more, please visit us at physicsforstudents.com. Dear friends, my name is Debelina and I am your host for this podcast, The Saint of Mathematics. Welcome to the first episode. For every one of us, life carries a different meaning. We grow up in life to do something. We aim to stand apart from the mass and show the world how different we are. Some dedicate their life on behalf of poor people, some to the nation, and some to research and study. For some, money does not matter at all. Hundreds, thousands, maybe millions of dollars to them are useless, are just nothing. Today, we are going to listen to the life of an unusual genius, one of the greatest mathematicians ever born on this earth, who proved something that unraveled the greatest mystery of the universe. To quote from the Bible, He might make thee know that man doth not live by bread only, but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of the Lord doth man live. The soul needs nourishment just as the body does. The soul needs fresh air. The soul needs to live on the nourishing power which emanates from an individual. How do we live without money? How do we live without fame? We can survive on what we need, yet we desire more. The person about whom we are talking is an ideal example of the phrase, man doth not live by bread only. Our aspirations, our ideas, our strive for a better life all revolve around a basic purpose, a material objective. No, I'm not saying that we do something and we do not expect any return. But can we stay detached from the work? Can we just do the work and then enjoy relaxing back on it? Can we just renounce and enjoy? Difficult, isn't it? As long as we stay attached to the work, we cannot enjoy it. Let us do our work at our best and then sit back and enjoy. Can we then see the tranquility of the sky and hear the humming of the bees? We are talking about a person who has done that? He has done his work and then renounced it. For him, the key to happiness comes from renunciation. For him, the joy and nourishment of the soul lie in giving up things, not in accepting them. This person did the best, which no one could do. It required dedication, hard work, seclusion, renunciation, and the spark of a genius. He could have become the richest person on earth or the most famous person. Yet, he repudiated all the honors and freed himself from the shackles of glory and acclamation. And that is why we call him the Saint of Mathematics. On June 13, 1966, Lubov Lvovna and Yakov Perelman gave birth to a child who was named Grigory Yakovlevich Perelman. He was born in Leningrad, Soviet Union, now St. Petersburg, Russia. His father was an electrical engineer and his mother was a teacher of mathematics 
at a technical college. He was born to Russian Jewish parents at a time when Soviet distrust of Jews was strong and his overtly Jewish surname made him suffer anti-Semitism throughout his life. His father later moved to Israel and his mother left graduate work in mathematics to raise him and his younger sister Elena, who also became a mathematician later. His father, who was very proud of him, used to encourage him to solve brain teasers and math problems when he was a child and taught him to play chess. His mother also contributed to his interest in mathematics and also taught him to play the violin. By the time he was 10, his talent in mathematics became obvious after he participated in district mathematics competitions. To develop his talents further, his mother enrolled him into an elite maths coaching club run by Sergei Rushkin a 19-year-old mathematics undergraduate at Leningrad University. Later, in an interview, Rushkin recounts, The first time I heard about Grisha was from Professor Nathanson. He said that his former student had a kid who was interested in mathematics, and why would I not look at him? With Rushkin's help, he also improved his English and entered Leningrad's Special Mathematics and Physics School number 239 in September 1980. In 1982, he was selected into Soviet Union's International Mathematical Olympiad team, where he earned a gold medal and secured a direct entry into the School of Mathematics and Mechanics at the Leningrad State University. The boy was unusual in character. He was persistent and impeccably honest. One of his old friends recounts, Grisha's mother asked him to wear a fur hat and when we were at the subway in the train, he was perspiring. We all asked him to open the hat, but he refused, telling us that he had promised his mother to keep the cap on. Mathematics gave him everything, solitude, rules and challenges. Not being able to solve a problem was devastating for this boy. Success was the only axiom in his life. So that is all for today. I hope you enjoyed listening to this episode of The Saint of Mathematics. I will be back next week with the second part of this podcast. Do let me know your feedback and reaction in the comment box and don't forget to like and subscribe. This is Debelina signing off from Physics for Students. Goodbye and stay happy.